Warning, this game contains imagery that may be triggering or disturbing to some viewers with reference to alcohol, death, abuse, and other sensitive content. Viewer discretion is advised. Or if we would still get it because Max? technically we still went through it. Hey. hey, hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Ed Bed Pony. Today we're hopping back into Life is Strange. So, without further ado, let's hop in. Three Give me the Cliff Notes seven. version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. Gorgeous. So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it will probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. If you have 24 hours before the world ends, what would you do? What you gonna do anyway? Let's be honest. I'd probably just put on Return of the Living Dead and eat an entire pizza by myself. Why mess with her team? She died doing what she loved. You never see stars like that in LA. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. He's a good friend. Aww. So sweet. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. All right, nerdy and dirty. This is actually vodka. World's best hot chocolate. Nerdy and dirty. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. There what should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. Ooh, it's doing beepy things. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> All right, I think we get to go exploring. Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. Huh. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time? How dare you? After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been as happy in years. How dare you hurt me like this?
We got some serious graph action going on here. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Come on, Moses, give me something to work with. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Nah. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. Fair enough. Okay. Wish me luck. Tip for tat. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Eh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Huh. How am I going to plant this on Safi? Dang, Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. Fair enough. Safi's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does- Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm, there might be some other hiding places up here that could work. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Ah! This is Safi, so adapt that. Admitting any and all candid photographers once again, man's elusive. Okay. Anything over here? I guess this is how people who aren't Moses lose their rooftop privileges. Fair enough. I right hear. Nope. Over here. I need to hide this bottle. Oh no, Mr. Iceman. What's to become of your head? Eh. Alright. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a. Her. Good tech, this off. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. How's the writing? Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. 
never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. Fair enough. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. But will you? Will you really? Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <laughs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Rules are rules. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready. More Absolutely. Time. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. It's the publisher, isn't it? Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. She's got a formal name. Be right back. So, uh, Return of the Living Dead? What about it? You said you'd watch it while the asteroid hit. Isn't that a zombie apocalypse movie? Return of the Living Dead is a zombie apocalypse masterpiece. I've seen it probably a hundred times. So you're gonna watch a movie about the apocalypse during the apocalypse? Fair enough. Thing to the familiar. Sure, but it's an apocalypse I already know front to back. No surprises. So it's a better the devil you know kind of deal. I think I get it. Devil you know instead of the devil you don't. Look at that. What a tail. Ugh. Gorgeous. Of course it's Moses was right. This is awesome. Ooh. Girl, your power's coming back. Did she lose her powers? That's a good question. Are you okay? Y yeah, all good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off, get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Ah. Uh, stubborn as always. In our little earbuds. It's like the beginning of the first game. Well, I don't have the music playing. It does say what is playing. If you want to hear what's playing, you can look it up. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. Gorge. The visuals in this are just stunning. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but 
It's even better when it snows. All right. What Let's a perfect around. night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Got a dot here to look at. The father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. That's what she's saying. Sophie's chain smoking again? Wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Oh, something might have happened with the book deal. Another Polaroid? Take. <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? That's not the sound of an owl makes. <laughs> Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Max down. This is not a test. Emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this. I caused all of this. The trauma. I wonder what the audio would be if we chose another, the other ending. Or if we would still get it because Max? technically we still went through it. Hey. Hey, hey are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Uh oh. <sighs> she a runner, she attracts her. There's Sophie. She seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Make sure there's no collectibles around. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Oof. Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought. She's gonna be okay, right? You know she dies, but like. She'll be alright. Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay? Uh oh. Dead. Uh oh. But where did the murderer go? I don't think there's another way down. No. That's the end. Poor Sophie. Now they gotta call 911 and things. Mm 
See, there's no other way down. They just showed it. So where'd the murderer go? Ooh. What if it's somebody with a teleporting ability we haven't met? That'd be cool. Don't say that! I won't trade you! Oh. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. It doesn't sound right. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. What are you looking for? What did you lose? Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. No. Oh. Again. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. Oh, look No, at that. Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. No. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, if I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. Oh. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. Hmm. <laughs> Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Oof. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. Did she get... A tattoo over her tattoo? Huh. <sighs> Just gonna ignore your phone there? Sit, Max, I'm coming over. Y'all can go and read all of these. Text. Fuck. She went through all. On your own playthrough. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my- Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write. Let alone- Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. 
Oh. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. Fair enough. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. Oh. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. I had to deal with that a lot when I went to my teaching job, but uh, I realized it's just because of the people I was working with. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong. Hmm. Get dressed. Yeah, we'll go with that. Now to take care of downstairs. Alright, let's look over here. The Lakeport cop investigating Sophie's death. Sophie, I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Eh. Probably not. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. Sophie. Oh. Let's look over here. Go down. I want to see what her dark room looks like. Less, uh, murdery than when she was locked in before. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Shutterbud420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Tutorials make everything look easier. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. All right, let's go back upstairs. And I can just walk through there. That's nice. Don't need to examine the front door. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. Oh. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Fair enough. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but. It's been four months, and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. Legend has it Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Ooh, a Polaroid. 
Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Don't wanna plan yet. It may get panned as schlock, but the Brain Bucket Saga is my break glass in case of depression go to. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most oh, recent danger. loss by fixating on the last one. What's one of here? the last things I got from Chloe. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? Hey Max, I started writing this in St. Louis, hence the big fucking arch on the postcard. But I'm sending it from Tennessee because it took that long to figure out what I wanted to say when we were teens. I thought being able to rewind time was the coolest shit in the world, and I guess it was for a while. The problem is, the more often you go back in time, the less often you're looking forward. I want to look forward to move forward with you, Max, into a future we couldn't predict and all the messes that bring and all the messes that brings. Eventually, I knew, as much as it hurt, that you would never be able to do that. Not with me, at least. I love you, Max. That will always be true. I hope you find someone you no longer feel the need to rewind can look forward unafraid. Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. All because of me. Oh. I'm not going to read through all of this. You guys can pause and read on the screen as you wish. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. No. Bean. Better get these tidied up too before Amanda gets here. I wonder if I can put them on the wall. Yeah, yeah, because it says I'm holding an item. It didn't just disappear. Add. Maybe putting these memories up will make it hurt less. Or maybe I'm just a masochist. I've got plenty of room to add a few more photos. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park did not disappoint. No. Where is she? Down there. Oh, Joyce. We lost you in a storm. Chloe never really looked at me the same after she found out. No. Oh. But to be fair, you just let her mom die. Is there anything over here? Nope. Guess it's time to flee in. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. Hmm. Tissues, man. Looks like a teenage boy's room in here. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey. Let her in. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. 
Go big or go home, I always say. No. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now... I know, Max. <sighs> I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... Oh. I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. <laughs> I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Aww. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> but that's not real food. Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. Fair enough. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> what? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. <laughs> oh, so you're just gonna tweet through it then? <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. <laughs> You need to eat, Max. The yeah. stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking no. through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Hmm. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. Fair enough. You know... You're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. No. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe photo. she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? like that. Did she just mew? Hmm. Ooh. That came out good. Mm. Lovely. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? Oh. Oh shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. 
Um, just... Just a sec, okay? No. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. You doing okay? How are you Check holding up? Her. Make sure she's alright. Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Fair enough. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Not like yours. <sighs> Nothing like what you've experienced. No. Inshallah, you never have to. Aww. I wanted to talk to you face to face. Uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Oh. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I you. can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> mm. Come on. I'll walk with you. Very sweet of her to do. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, remember to like. That way now you're enjoying the content I'm making for hit subscribe. That way YouTube brings you back and you see what happens next. And I won't take up any more every time. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.